Hey, what is going on guys? Ben here. Today, I am super excited to be sharing with you a video that has been in the works for about a year now. This is gonna be my dream desk setup tour. Now, everything I show here will be linked down below in case you're interested in purchasing any of the parts from this setup. But without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. So let's start off with the most obvious component, the massive desk. See, this tabletop you see right here actually came from Ikea, as did the legs. Now, the table itself is called the Carlby countertop. It's actually a walnut kitchen countertop but it's absolutely beautiful and extremely large at just over six feet wide and about two feet deep now this gives me plenty of space to spread things out whether it's papers notes and really just lets everything fit very nicely on top of this desk surface now the legs are also from ikea and they are called the oddvald legs and they are shockingly only 15 dollars each but they've held up tremendously under the weight of this heavy desk and i think these two paired together at just over 200 bucks make an amazing desk surface. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It is huge, it is great, and it's a pleasure to work at. Now, before I jump into all of the accessories that really make this setup my dream desk setup, let's start by talking about the machine that's actually running it all. This right here is the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, I've spec'd this thing out with the eight core 2.3 gigahertz i9 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a two terabyte SSD, although I do have an additional 25 terabytes of storage hidden behind this desk, which we will talk about in a bit. Now this beast is connected to arguably one of the best monitors on the planet, the LG 34WK95U. Now this monitor makes up for its horrible name with an amazing screen. It runs at 5K resolution and is an ultra wide nano IPS display. Now this gives me the best of both worlds when editing with both extremely sharp details and contrast from a 5K monitor, but tons of screen real estate like an ultra wide display. And for even more space, I leave the MacBook Pro display open on the side with additional windows and tasks at the ready. Now both the laptop and the monitor are actually mounted on some sort of stand, with the monitor being on this vest mount that clamps to the desk, that way I get a lot more desk space, and the laptop actually being on this little riser, which gets the laptop up to eye level and creates some space underneath for some accessories. Now my favorite way to interact with my computer is through this combo of the Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad on this tray, but sometimes I also use my Logitech MX Master Mouse, which I actually did a video on and you can check that that out at the eye in the corner. Now, one thing that is really important for me with any setup is speed and portability. That is why everything here is driven off of a laptop and to make taking my work on the go even more seamless, it is all connected through a single Thunderbolt 3 cable. So when I'm done editing at the desk, I can simply unplug that one cable from the laptop and then I'm ready to go to class or wherever I'm headed. And if I need to edit on the go, I can just unplug my little two terabyte SSD that is sitting right underneath the laptop, Velcro it to the back and I'm ready to go. This gives me a total of four terabytes of super fast high speed storage to edit on the go with, which is nuts. All of this is really only possible because of the CalDigit TS3 dock. This monster of a dock allows allows me to plug in all my hard drives, speakers, monitor, and more into one seamless solution that not only connects it all into the laptop over one cable, but can even charge the laptop too. And it provides some easy access ports on the front for an SD card and some USB devices. However, I tend to not use these ports on the front as I've wired in some very easy access USB and SD card readers into the underside of the desk so I can now plug in hard drives or transfer footage off my camera with ease. Now, as I mentioned before, I also have a about 25 terabytes of storage running into this dock. Now this is all hidden either behind my trash can or behind my storage drawers with the cables running along the back of the desk leg hidden from sight. Now most of this is just archives of all the footage I capture from my YouTube videos so that I can re-reference them in future ones, as well as some for time machine backups of my laptop and any active projects I'm editing off of my SSD. Now when I am editing and listening to audio especially, I'll either use the speakers on top of my desk which provide a really rich full sound or my Audio Technica ATH M50Xs which are located right underneath my desk and provide a nice flat studio monitor sound. Now, both of these are wired into a mini amp from Behringer, Be Behringer, whatever it's called, but this allows me to split the audio source coming from my computer to either the headphones, the built-in monitor speakers, my desk speakers, or the open headphone port on the back of the amp. This makes it incredibly seamless to switch audio sources on the fly and to even adjust their individual levels. In terms of all the other accessories on the desk, you can see we have this nice little clock pencil holder, a little dock to charge my iPhone, a cable holder with already plugged in cables that could charge whatever product I might need, a salt lamp, a lava lamp, and of course my articulating desk lamp. Now one cool thing about this lamp and all 
all the other lights in this setup is that they're all Wi-Fi connected, with most of them actually being from Philips Hue. Even the products that aren't Philips Hue, like the salt and lava lamps and the Edison bulb, are connected via Belkin Wemo smart switches. This allows me to turn everything on and off from my phone remotely, and even allows me to change everything to some really cool color patterns. However, I'm usually too lazy to pull out my phone, so I've installed this little button under my desk called the Logitech Pop. This James Bond style panic button allows me to change the lights to any number of presets, all by just using different clicking patterns. Now to keep everything as clean and open as I did, I've moved a lot of what used to be on my desk surface into drawers on the side. This includes everything from various school supplies to cables, and even this full shelf of camera gear which is all wired up, so everything in it from cameras to batteries, GoPros, and drones are all charging and ready to go whenever I need it. Now, not everything is as clean and tidy as it looks. While my cables are definitely hidden and not seen to the naked eye, my cable management game could definitely use some work. I've basically just used these IKEA cable trays to hide all the surge protectors and wires in the back and under the desk. The parts I am proud of are the ones that you really can only see from the top, like the cable sleeves hiding the monitor and laptop cables or the easy access surge protector on the feet of the desk. Now while it's not the most clean cable runs I've ever seen, it does stay out of sight and out of mind most of the time so I'm really happy with it. Plus the easy access allows me to pull things out and swap components whenever necessary which is quite useful since I moved much of this setup to and from college. But that has been an overview of what is by far my favorite desk setup of all time and one that I am absolutely blessed to call my own. Everything about it has been tailored to suit my specific needs as a student and a content creator and really it's the refinement of years of figuring out what works and what doesn't. Again, if anything I showed you in this video has piqued your interest and you wanted to learn more, I put links to every product I showed in this video down in the description, and they are Amazon affiliate links, so using them will help support me and this channel, and will allow me to make more setup videos like this for you all in the future. So with that, I really hope you guys enjoyed my setup tour. Please hit that like button, and also hop into the comment section down below to let me know your opinions about this setup. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that has been it. Thanks, subscribe, and peace out. Catch y'all later.